Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, guys, welcome back. Um, this is the instalment of the Mulder Galloway Species Competition. Now, there's been a massive easterly wind up there. It's not looking great, it really isn't. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm going up there, I'm going up with Smart Fishing, the Suzuki Protein. Um, Tim McPherson's there, the guy of Director of Angling Trust, that's going to be pretty cool meeting him. And just basically going to have a go. If I don't turn up, I know what we're happening, the weather will blow down, it'll blow down, we'll be fine, and then they'll have a brilliant time and I won't be there. So, going to go, 12 hours it's going to take me with a boat on the back. It says 10 hours in the sat nav, probably looking at around 12 or 13 with the boat on the back. Um, I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie, I always get nervous for these long journeys because of the, the dramas that I've had recently with vehicles and towing and God knows what else. But you've got to be in the with it, guys, and I want to go, I want to take part. I've never been to Scotland before, so fingers crossed and we have a good time. But we can only hope. Let's get ourselves down in there, on the motorway. <laughs> After 11 and a half hours, we have finally rocked up at the headquarters. Thank God for that. Smart fish and overdraft there, looking all pretty. I'm going to reverse, but tired is not an understatement. Right, we've been here about an hour. Um, basically, we've got big farmhouse between. Me, Franklin Anxiety. This is Smart Fish's original boat, Overdraft. Absolute beautiful boat. Very humble looking, but shock seats inside. Just an absolute weapon. Um, brand new Vlankless trailer. And obviously, you've got the big girl, towed by a full ranger because it's the only thing that can tow it. Good old smart fish. Blowing a gal today, people. Proper glowing about. Uh, glowing about? Tell I ain't had no sleep. Um, <coughs> yeah. Blowing an absolute gal. Be no fishing going on today. I don't know if you see the winter ones. <laughs> Literally, they're going any faster than to take off. Um, and then humble old Suzuki Mogra and the Vigilant. You gotta love her. You gotta love her. She's so good. I love her. I absolutely love it. New trailer as well as Will Parkinson Smart Fish has helped me out with. Um, a couple of little feathered friends. On the stroke. Come here. Come here. Oh, they're going to come, aren't they? Come here. He's going to peck my hand. I've got no food for him. He's going to be devastated. Come on. Don't ask what the noise is about, guys. Not too sure if there's any scaly friends in here. It's literally so remote, you can see Northern Ireland over there, um, apparently. Like, I'm no ge geographical dude, but that's what I've been told. Um, but yeah, it's just been, this is home for the next couple of days. So 
exciting stuff. Scotland's a beautiful place. If you've ever been to Scotland, come to Scotland, man. It's beautiful, but do I look tired? <laughs> I don't feel tired. I feel tired driving it, but I don't feel too tired now. But yeah, man, cool stuff. Um, gonna go in, have a bit of food and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, when I'm doing something a bit exciting, got a meeting this evening at 6 p.m. Skipper's meeting. Find out what the rules are and what the crack is, basically. Um, but yeah, gonna get myself back in, so see you in a sec. I think she's just had two hours sleep. Mark is still out for the count. He went to bed at, at eight o'clock this morning and he's still asleep. It's half four. Tired lad. <laughs> um, she said someone come up to the house while I've been asleep. Uh, Accusing everyone of chopping his uh, his lobster pots, so called the police. The police are on way. Obviously, we haven't chopped anyone's lobster pots. We haven't actually been in the water. Um, a lot of drama around lobster pots at the minute. Everywhere, everywhere I look, lobster pots. People are nicking lobster pots or something. Some sort of dramas around a lobster pot. Just get on with your life. <laughs> Don't nick people's lobster pots. <laughs> but yeah, apparently he's renowned for it. He's seen the Suzuki things and um, the big boats and thought there's a, there's a couple of quid to be earned there. So he's come out here and tried his luck, but he hadn't got anywhere. All of this while I've been asleep. I've only been asleep for an hour and a half. Literally since yesterday morning I've slept an hour and a half, but it's an adventure. I'll sleep tonight. We've got a skipper's meeting at six o'clock tonight. No, seven o'clock, so two hours. It's not long. Um, had some really cool chats with Tim McPherson, the director of Anglin Trust. Um, had him as a passenger in my old humble car for the day. Um, some really, really interesting chats. Just talking a lot about sharks and a lot about just conservation, fish, um, angling anxiety, a bit about myself, a bit about the history and stuff, and why it is what it is and etc. Um, that's cool. But yeah, no fishing today. Tomorrow we are out of Port Logan. So. I know, that mean nothing to me either. I'm going to get out, have a go. Got loads of rag, got three pound of rag. Got some lures, feathers, um, fish baits. Just have a go, really. Do you know what I mean? See if I can get out to it, see if I can get a skate. Can't really get out far enough, but I'm going to try anyway. Good old vigilant. But yeah, I'll stop waffling now anyway. As you can see, my eyes are so tired. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you to the, uh, I'll get you to tomorrow, and it'll be a bit of fishing. Right, it's fishing day, people. It is 10 to 6 in the morning. I've had a combined total of about five hours sleep since I left my house on Tuesday morning. So I'm a little bit tired, but we're feeling it, Mark, aren't we? Yeah, boy. We're feeling it. We're out here, we're gonna win. <laughs> no, we're definitely not going to win. As long as I don't, well, I say as long as I don't come last, because there's a massive chance I'm going to come last. Um, yeah, massive chance. On a plus side, we had dinner with uh, Lance from Navionics last night. Um, he's hooked us up as angling anxiety, so that's good stuff. Hence the hat. Um, so yeah, positive vibes. I um, met some really good people, man. It's been good. It's been good stuff. We haven't been fishing yet. But yeah, so the views. That is Paul Logan, and that is where we're going to be fishing. We have a second boat here. We've got smart fishing dinghy on top. Um, so yeah, going to get loaded, get out there, and then what I'll do is I'll get on the water and I'll bring you back. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, we're out in the water, people. We're group two. Um, the majority of these people, in fact, all of them, apart from us, are group one. Um, we we'll just come down here. Got down a bit early, could come down with Will out to launch. I had to bring down the smart fishing sib, um, old Hercules as he calls it. Get him at first and over there in overdraft. Lots of lovely boats, all very, very experienced anglers, unlike ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here having a go, though. Yes. <laughs> There's no, you can't put nothing past vigilant and angling anxiety. Determination is key, that is the bottom line. That's Darren Sloan over there, he's on my Facebook, added me a few weeks ago, I sort of recognised him yesterday at the meeting, so I went over and said hello. Um, that boat there is Hot Reels, that's meant to be a good contender for the number one spot, but to be honest with you, 
if I walk away with a sticker I'll be happy so yeah flat car out here today though which is surprising considering what we was expecting um, I'm the only Wilson flyer in the competition I'm not scared and yeah I've got the relief shading and whatnot on my uh, Navionics now my low run so that's pucker if you ain't got Navionics like a lot of people don't know about Navionics go and get Navionics man it's for nuts Literally, and I'm not just saying it because I like Lance, I'm saying it because genuinely without Navionics I wouldn't have caught none of my sharks or the majority of my fish, so. Yeah, <coughs> we got this. We got this, yeah. I'm going, trust me, you'll see me later, I'm collecting my number one prize. We'll actually find out tomorrow what the crack is. <laughs> got smart fish over there with Ollie, the real nomads over there doing a bit of filming in, in Will's boat. Where is it? Oh, it's over there somewhere, I can't see it. There's overdraft, look. Beauty. Yeah. Wait to get out, get some, go and try and find some fish with absolutely zero knowledge and have a go. Well, we're just waiting for the go ahead, just confirmed, old, ye old vigilant. Um, we're just waiting for confirmation really to go in there, so, any minute now, where have we gone? We hope. Alright, so far we've had a pollock, a cold fish. Um, I say we, Mark. Um, we're just fishing around some rocks. I was just on uh, YouTube live, so there, there is some live footage in case you want to catch up on it. In the rocks, Mark. We're fishing right close to rocks at the minute. That's where oh, I'm, the aim of the game is. I want to try and find the rest. So, bring it back. Right, so we're on. How many species now? Maggie, doggy, haddock, pollock, cowfish, dab, dab, six. Six species, so for mackerel, we've got mackerel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, six species, so we're uh, doing all right. We're not going to win it, we know we're not going to win it, but as long as we don't lose them miserably, do you know what I mean? That's the. Uh, Aim of the game. The aim of the game was to catch a skate, but I can't get my anchor to hold, um, which is frustrating me. But tomorrow, I know I've been given a skate mark, so and that's on the other side, which is where we're fishing tomorrow. So that's going to be my aim for tomorrow. Just see, wait and see what happens. Well, we've managed to anchor up. We're anchored up over a sandbank at the minute. Um, <coughs> not much happening really. A few mackie. We need some. Different stuff, i.e., floats. as a definite bite on that, wasn't it? We've got a massive tide run coming through here. Not like massive. Um, you probably be able to see it moving. No good. Yeah, plenty of mackerel. Um, a rag. We got told to keep it in salt water. It's still dead. Dead in pants. <laughs> There's all it is. I've got a mackerel live on the bottom for a skate. We're not a million miles offshore. We're not in overly deep water, but it's just out there for the sake of being out there, really, to be honest with you. But yeah, absolute shambles in the cabin. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop the... Uh, Drop a GoPro down, I think, and have a look. Another new species, it's a nice one. Beautiful colours in these old gurners. Called by Mark, this one. Spiked me, made me bleed. Ah, very anti predatory. So you're not going to get eaten. They're not going to get eaten in a hurry. Ah, because they will hurt your mouth. Gone into the deeps. So another fish for Marky boy. Hopefully not a dog. What is it? Big old Mackey, look at that. Proper King Mackey. I think that is not a target, but still, another Mackey for the bait. Right, guys, over there is a man hooked into a skate. I was just on my way back in because I'm hungry and thirsty. 
and I don't know if it's been to Scotland or at least to Mold Galloway, but definitely not to Scotland, but there is not a shop for miles, like miles, until like an hour or something crazy. Um, so I would want to head back in soon and then have a go and get some food and stuff. But while I'm here, pulled over some sand, there's a skate on the hook over there. I've got a skate rig out. I'm just going to have a go for one for an hour. Nothing could probably come of it, but you got to be in it all at the end of the day. If I don't, I'll kick myself from the land bed all night thinking I could have had a skate. So, one of those ones, man. But yeah, I'm tired. I need to actually try and get sleep at a reasonable time tonight because I could never really start tomorrow. But we're not doing too bad. I think we're on eight and we might. Eight, so eight species, not too bad. Hey. Another two in the way, yeah. We'll get formed back in a minute in the common skate. So, stay, stay tuned, peeps. <laughs> we, we hope. No matter where you go in the world, people, you get plagued by dogfish. It's just inevitable. We've even been grazed by them today. Both of us. Is it a dog or a hus? I had my first hus today, so it's pretty cool. It's only a little bit suspicious. Pain in the ass. Right, no skate, people. No skate. <laughs> um, we're wrapping up now. We're day one done. Little smart fish. Put it up there. Right, we're just counting up our numbers, guys. We've got nine. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, happy days, really. I spoke to a couple of people, smart fishing, they got nine. They got eight. Um, I spoke to someone else, they got eight. So, at the minute, we're doing all right. But we do know another boat got 16. So, pff, unbelievable, really. Eating some Scottish shortbread. A lovely bit. But, yeah, I'm going to get ourselves uh, back home. Or back to the. We're actually going to go shop because we've got no food, no drink. We've survived on the can of coke all day. Peasant life. That's not, that's not a lay yet. But... <laughs> it's horrendous, honestly. It? But yeah, happy days. See you in a sec. Just having a sort out. Ready for tomorrow. Back at home base, home camp. Um, yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's good. It's just a nice little adventure, you know what I mean? We've got a little house. Like I say, the director of Anglin Trust here yeah, from the Manly Islands Navionics, Lance, really, really nice bloke. Um, smart fishing, real nomads. And it's just like humble old me here. We feel really out of place, but they make you feel welcome, which is cool. But just don't look at the size of that. It just makes me sick when I look at it. It's a monster. Look, this is me compared. Worryingly big. But yeah, roll on tomorrow. But it is the morning, um, as you can see. Still just literally woke up. Fidge is loaded, ready. I actually left it like that last night with all the rods in it. And nothing. A little duck. Hello, little duck friends. Overdraft's ready. Smart fish is ready. Fidge is ready. Um, absolute shambles of a mess in there. I'm not going to lie to you. The rag worm we got, no disrespect to the tackle shop, was absolutely rubbish. Um, but they told us to keep it in seawater. What a crazy idea that was. Just they keep changing the water, but they just drowned. I sort of knew it was going to happen, but I thought, well, they know better. But there you go. Um, the leading people is Darren Sloan. I said about him earlier in the video. He's actually on 20 fish, 20 species. He's helped me out with a few marks today. Um, but still, got no ragworm. Only got fish baits, feathers, and lures. So it couldn't be an hard day's fishing, man. It really is. But I'll get ourselves down here. Probably gonna be doing a bit of YouTube live today, so if this is a little bit skippy and sort of mishaps quite a bit on these videos, just jump on the lives as well, have a look on the lives. Um, but yeah, let's get down there. Right, we've got skate baits out. I've caught Mackie upon Mackie, loads of Mackie here. I was just live for ages. Um, go and check the live video out if you wanna sort of keep up. We've had some whiting, which is another one off the list. Gannet's diving around here massively. There's smart fish in the background. With Ollie from the Real Nomads driving it. 
Jamie doing a bit of media work. Sorry about that, but yeah, um, got a smart fish over there. Big skate rod out with two Mackie on, tails cut off of them. I'm just, I got sick of catching mackerel, literally. You drop feathers down, you get a full string every single time. I was fishing hard, cause, but then you get sick of catching hooks in your fingers and stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, we're chilling. We're at about 30 metres of water. 20 metres actually, sorry. It's like a mill pond out here at the minute. There's a little bit of, a little bit of a sway coming, but nothing worth worried about. We're at a bay, so just chilling, man. Living the dream. Fishing off scope people, lost one, gutted, um, very gutted, I didn't have it on for long which was handy because it would have been really heartbreaking, um, got lots of footage on live today, had a sketchy, in, sketchy uh, situation around the rocks over there, anchored up, so we could fish next to them, got caught, the anchor got caught, luckily keeping calm, um, with a little bit of learning from being on Anglo Dong, and seeing how to get yourself out of a reefy situation like that, I managed to pull it off. Um, yeah, that was a sketchy one. But yeah, it's all, all is well, all is safe. Um, give up with a species comp, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just fishing for skate. Um, so much tide around this side, it's unbelievable. It's properly pushing. It's like, it's just, yeah, it's majorly pushing, majorly. Um, but still, fishing, having a go. Can't find my key for my trailer, so I'm hoping that that's in the trailer itself and I haven't lost it because otherwise I'll be in a world of trouble. But yeah, just out here chilling, really, man. Chilling. Alright, guys, we're making our way back. Um, only one more species today and the skate on that. That was a mackerel. We caught that 300 mackerel, it's unbelievable having a mackerel around here. Um, we ran out of worm yesterday, but we didn't run out, it'll die and like I said, it's no good. Good news people, the key was in the trailer. Happy days, as you can see, I look beaten. Nice and prompt, turned up at the beach, tractor was there, <whistles> straight in and out. Get a presentation done tonight, and then uh, get ourselves home tomorrow. It's as sweet as an hour. Bit of civilization, guys. Haven't seen a normal house for a long time, well, three days. Grandma, we're going to Morrison's to get some food. I just thought I'd show you because it's probably not very fascinating for you, but it is for me. Bit of salad bar, tuna sweet corn, bit of cheese and some extra sweet corn. Yeah, old vigilant. Thank you very much, Morrison's. Let's get yourself to the clubhouse. See what the results are. Right, just in the clubhouse, waiting to collect my first prize. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I bought some raffle tickets because that's how bad it is. I'm hoping that maybe I can win something in the raffle. But yeah, I'll bring it back when I collect my first prize. Right, we placed 36 out of 48. I'm quite happy with it. You happy with that, Mark? Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, no, it's good, man. It's good. Um, big love to all the Mulder Galloway committee. Mulder Galloway Angling Festival, I think it is. Um, Mogath. They call itself. Um, yeah, it's been brilliant, man. Beautiful views, look. Lovely job, man. Massive thanks to the Real Nomads. Go and follow them on Instagram. Um, Smart Fishing UK, you already know about him, but go and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, for the, Bevs, the Suzuki Pro team. Um, who else? Lance from Navionics UK for hooking us up. Brilliant, man. We had the old hat with pride. Um, who else? Les. Tim McPherson from Angling Trust and Saltwater Boat Magazine. Saltwater Boat Angling. Um, yeah, there's loads of people, man. It's been wicked. The video is a bit hit and miss because I've been doing a lot of live streams and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah. There's a, there's a, I hooked into a big skate earlier, which is on one of the live feeds. So go and check it out. Unfortunately, I lost it. Can't win them all. Um, but yeah, we're making our way back to the house and we're going to leave at 6 in the morning. So, been good. 
Scottish people and Malish people very welcome. I mean, ninety percent of them. Some of them not so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the majority. Everyone at the club's been good as gold. So yeah, happy days. Can't wait to come back. Um, two weeks time, a Mount Basie Angling Festival in uh, Penzance. So that's going to be another good festival. But yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, go and check the other videos out. We've got a poor beagle, the fresher shark, tuna. Um, it's been an eventful year. So yeah, happy days. Take care of yourselves. Stay tuned.